What's going on everybody, it's Josh. This is a special video. Um, I kind of teased this on Instagram a little bit and I think I might have even mentioned this in previous videos. Um, but I am going to do a like spotlight collection video um, for my man Brian or Big Dub's collection because after seeing it in person, it just needs, it needs to be shared with people. He's already done like a, a how many parts? 13. 13 part series thing on his um, but I'm just gonna do like a kind of a walkthrough um, and give you like a room by room thing very briefly I don't want to make this video too long um, but yeah he has hot toys imports Mezco stuff pops uh, probably like a hundred graded comics no lie and then it's just some other cool stuff so uh, we're gonna go to the hot toys first I'm just gonna show you guys some stuff and then um, yeah, kind of see where it goes from there, but I'm excited. I hope you guys are. Let's get to it. This is his case, well, cases of uh, Hot Toys. Pretty much have almost anything you can think of. He has a bunch. That Loki right there. Avengers. Pretty awesome. Loki. Avengers, and then the Dark World Loki is Dark behind him. Let me move on to Cap and Bucky or Winter Soldier. Some cool stuff right here, though. And then the best one is at the top. We're about to show you. But like I said, I'm not going to give real in-depth stuff. Um, I'm just going to give you guys a good overview. New Infinity War Thor. We have the big man Hulkbuster right here. Good lord. I'm sure the gantry if I move Thor Oh, away. yes. That Tony head sculpt is very, very cool. We have Groot. Ironmonger. I, well, I was there for that purchase, right? You were. Yes. And Columbus, Ultron, yeah. Hella. Whether you collect Hot Toys or not, you cannot deny that that head sculpt is great. We got Thanos on the throne. What are these? So it's a Masterpiece Optimus Prime. That is Flame Toys Drift, a Transformer. And that's a Sola Jokokin, uh Gypsy Danger from Pacific Rim. Mm -hmm. These are Revel Tech. Revel Tech, okay. amazing Yamaguchi, correct. I want that Spider Gwen. That looks very good. Well, they all look good, but honestly, that might be my favorite just because she looks uh, so good. Of the amazing Yamaguchi Revel Techs, I think that's all that have been released so far. These Marvel are... DC. The Batman is the first DC one. And we got some uh, Mythic Legions down here. Looking very nice. And then across the way, we have some Breaking Bad. Are these? They're, they're, I just have picked them up. They're three zero. They're obviously there with various Iron Studios stuff because I don't have a home for them yet. They'll have a home soon. <laughs> but they're three zero. Uh, the the cooking meth set. Okay. These are Iron Studios statues, which I I think are pretty cool. They're pretty new to America, at least. They're out of Brazil, I believe. They look good. And I think. Play arts? Play arts, yeah, those three. Play arts, what are the, those? Play arts, too, play right? Arts, yeah. Those three shelves. Oh, great. Okay. And those are the. Uh, what, Bandai I, make Tamashii Nations. They're different they look, names. They're the kind of samurai stuff. Yeah, they look really cool. Articulated icons. Those are also. I like those Rebel turtles. Tech. Yeah, the turtles is good smile. So those are statues. Looking cool. Then, sliding over here. We have various things up there. We've got some creature-type stuff live up there. Yeah. And things I like to get down and use for pictures. Yes. And then we have, let me get back a little bit, the Iron Man display. The Hall of Halls of Iron Man. Good Lord. And as you can tell, it's not every single Iron Man that he owns is over here. But... Uh, Top Shelf, Legends and Pops, Funko, whatever. Then these are imports. You got Mafex, Figma, Beast Kingdom, SH Figure Arts, that type of stuff, Comic Cave. Then a bunch of Hulkbusters, and then Play Arts Kai, and the Samurai, and a couple hot toys up there, the Tony and Pepper. That's a Kota Bakia in the back. This is the Sentinel re-edit. Um, the first nine, I believe I have, of the Hall Armor. There's a few more I need. And then you've got a NECA quarter scale. This is a 3A, but all the rest of those are Hot Toys down there. And if you know the Hot Toys collection from Iron Man, I don't. I have a lot, but I'm not near complete. 
opposite corner, we have the Inf well, Ragnarok. Ragnarok yes. Studios set. Yeah. Are you missing any from this? No, that's the complete this set. This complete set. I think these look awesome, personally. Yeah, the zoom, get in on the face, they're just... I mean, that Loki, I think, was like 80 bucks. And is a phenomenal thing. Especially, they make these sets where your whole movie is represented. Yeah. There's Soft like 20 of them coming. Yeah, with sure. the wired capes. And some of them have interchangeable heads and weapons. Like, the Star-Lord from Infinity War has a masked and unmasked head. Looks like great. That. And I believe the DC, DC Hot, Hot Toys. Toys. Sideshow. Soup, Harley, Deadshot. And we have uh, Arkham Knight Batman. I think Kyle has Batman. that one, right? He does. Kyle, yeah. Those are all Arkham ones. And those are sideshow figures. And then its neighbor, Cabinet over here, has a uh, various display. Is this the Legends Cap Shield? The Legends Cap Shield. The and Legends then the Gauntlet. Legends Gauntlet. And Gandalf. Asma's toys. Yes. Gandalf the Grey. The Hobbit. Got that at Dragon Con this yes. year, actually. He looks great. Then these are all... So the Harry Potter figures are Star Ace. The Breaking Bad, the Walking Dead, and Game of Thrones are all going to be 3-0 figures. Pretty much Hot Toys quality, just not Hot Toys name. This other six the Leonidas back there is a Star Ace figure. I forgot that I had that one. These Game of Thrones look great. They're great, yeah. And then the, uh, the Monty Python, <laughs> the Muddy Knights are Sideshow. Old sideshow. Wow, that was that was not scripted, people. So pretty much what we have is you have this cabinet. You walk over here, DC. Just want to give you guys a big look around. This is like I said, the entryway. But that is phase one. Now we're going to go upstairs into his uh, master suites, and he the four or five detox was some hot toys, so let's go upstairs. And here we are. This is Thor, Flash, and Hulk. My three favorites, Thor, Flash, and Hulk. And then Fing Ping Foom. Yeah, there is some, uh, really it's speedsters. You got Reverse Flash and Zoom. Fing Fang Foom, and some Gorilla Garage. Some very specific things I like. There's a green arrow up there. And some Lord of the Rings. These are just probably my favorite pieces and characters. Road Worn Thor. Would love to have that back in my collection. Got the SH Gladiator Thor. These are all of the hot toys that, of Thor. That Bes besides the Infinity War, that's downstairs. Infinity War's downstairs, yeah. But I have all of them. You got Legends. What Chief is? Figs. Is that the Select right there? There's a Select, yep. That's okay. a Select. You got some uh, Diamond. And side note, this Bruce Banner looks really, really good. It's the Avengers Bruce Banner. Almost to the point where I might want to try to track him down. Just and, because he looks cool. And that's old. It's the Avengers. In yeah. fact, if any of you would like to track that down, I believe Big Bad has the Bruce Banner with the store credit right now. Really? Yeah. Hmm. As of... And I have Big the Bad credit. There's Big Fang Foam Legends build a figure, the, in my opinion, the most desirable Marvel Legends build a figure that we got at Columbus Toy Show. Yes. From uh, Game, Game Runners. Runners. Shout out to Game Runners if you're watching. Flash. That's a newer one. That's a Beast Kingdom dynamic action hero, a new line from Beast Kingdom. Um, a lot of people haven't seen that Flash. This is all very, very cool though. Uh, at the top shelf, these are a little unusual. The TV show Flash in the back is uh, Susu Toys. Is it a third party? Yeah, kind of a third party. And then yeah. that's a Star Ace 8 scale. Star Ace has started making 8 scale Harry Potter and DC TV stuff. For what it's worth. So here is just his uh, in my little morning area with my favorite folks. Yeah, his morning routine. He rolls out of bed and gets to look at this. So, next. Mezco Imports and Funko Pops. And we are in the Import Mezco Pop Wrestling Black <laughs> Everything Room. The doll of it, right? Everything besides uh, Legends and Hot Toys, really. The room right? where you want to sit on the couch and watch whatever it is you like to watch on TV. Exactly. 
So first starting, I'm just, everything in here, if, real quick, if you guys can just see, look like too much stuff for this. So it's gonna be very, very fast, but I will try to do some talking points. Uh, this is a gift that he acquired, which is really, really cool. Yeah, along those with are store that displays one. from uh, a store. Yep. We'll just leave it to that. They were, <laughs> they were gifts. Out on display. <laughs> Uh, all the Amiibos uh, right here. If you guys are into Amiibos, you obviously know what you're looking at. I don't really have to point anything out. Some cool art pieces randomly through here. And I guess this has an Amiibo in it too, which I found very cool. Um, more Amiibos. So we got wrestlers Lots up here. Wrestlers. Lots of wrestling. Once again, I'll try to do my best to give you guys a slow shot so you can at least see something if you like it. Go ahead and take a peek at it. It'll be hard to talk about this in a lot of order just because, uh, yeah. as you can see, things have gotten moved around. I just reorganized and I already need to reorganize again. Yeah. It's such as life. Um, but we're going to start with the Mezco shelves. And this is the Dark Knight and the Mutant. Is that what Mutant that is? Mutant two pack. It came with the diorama piece. Which is really cool. And then we have the SDCC Armored Batman. There's a, the regular release Dark Knight, the PX Dark Knight, and the Mezco exclusive Dark Knight. Back there. Got a bunch. Got. I have, I think, 60 Mezco now. I have nearly every regular release up until 2018 New York Comic Con. The only two I'm missing is the Mezco exclusive classic Punisher. That fully loaded and, uh, Punisher? That's the fully loaded PX Punisher. And I'm missing the 2017 New York Comic Con Red Skull. There's a few Toy Fairs I'm missing. I do have two Toy Fair. I have a Toy Fair Judge Dredd and a Toy Fair Spock. Moving down, this is more like Mayfax. Was it Beast Kingdom and Egg Attack? There's Beast Kingdom Egg Attacks back there. You've got Mayfax. You're going to get the SH Figu Arts. You've got Figma figures in there. I love that these blast effects go on the stands. I just now learned that um, after seeing this Those display. Those are all the on that half. Look awesome. And down there, you've got all the Street Fighter Figu Arts. You've got Storm, Mortal Kombat. You got Shao Kahn back there. There's more Storm World Combat in another place that I don't have room for. You got the wrestling figure arts. You got Dragon Ball stuff. Uh, Nindroid figures back there, like that Link that's kind of got the chibi look. You got some other random imports. And some uh, pops. I like to have things on my shelf that just look different than other people. So I want you to look at my collection and go, I've never seen that thing before. Where I get it. We've got a lot of pops. I've been collecting pops a long time. Is this the Hobbit Legless? It is. Wow. That's a cool one. Over here, looks like we just have a bunch of uh, WWE figures. Some, some of my favorite wrestlers with their belts. Are some good ones, too. I mean, you got this is a very expensive Razor Ramon. I know that. Um, let's see if I can spot anything else that's kind of pricey. That Finn Balor, the SummerSlam one. It's pretty. Pricey. Got the Hogan. Oh, good old Hulk. If you guys watch Crown Jewel, let me know in the comments below what you thought of that. Uh, just I guess a couple of is are these like your favorite pops? I'm or only pops chases. I don't. I'm not a, a chase hunter. Um, I collect my figures to open them and display them, so the chase sticker doesn't really mean much to me. I do have a few from trades and stuff that people have given me as a That's gift. From, uh, Cody, That's right? from Cody, right? That's from Cody, yep. Uh, and I think every other one of those is a gift from someone. That Finn Balor chase is one that I've always wanted. Yeah. Then these are SH figures. SH Figure Arts, the Mario set, yep. Now, really cool. guys, his pops, like he just mentioned, he has everything open, so I am just going to scan um, just to show you guys because I really want you guys to see everything in full effect. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, um, We've all seen pictures of it if you follow him on Instagram or his YouTube channel, which will obviously be linked down in the description below. Um, you don't really get a full like dose of it until you see it in person. So, All the pops you'll see are first run, first print. I've been collecting pops for like four years, I think, something like that, maybe even longer. Uh, about as long as I can remember them being but I've always been an open box person. I don't have the boxes. I know that'll make some people cry, <laughs> but uh, I'm also not, they're not for sale. They're to be part of my collection. I have nearly every Game of Thrones pop. At one point, the only one I was missing was the dragon variant Daenerys and the headless Ned Stark, which, you know, I'm not paying hundreds of dollars for a pop. That's just not a thing that's gonna happen. 
We got a uh, the Royal Rumble clash. Yeah, yeah I put uh, uh, Andre the Giant up there, and he took out everybody, and I thought that was funny, so I just worked it that way. <laughs> more then wrestlers. Just, yeah, just some more right here. Then we have some Predator. Well, not quite a bit of Predators. Predator and Alien. Cool. And we got the Bone Throne. Sensi, shout Bone out to you, brother. The Bone Throne. You see various Lego minifigures and uh, the whatever those things are called. They're not mystery minis. There are mystery minis in there. And then there's those diamond minis, which I can't remember what they're called. So we're going to go into this real quick. Uh, we have all these DC figures, I believe. Yeah, that's the DC, the Blackest Night uh, line. They're kind of like the zombies and the lanterns and... It's the whole collection of those. Some are in other places, like the Flash or the Flash. And then uh, some Matrix stuff. Yes. This is just the largest shelves of miscellaneous stuff. It's almost impossible to yeah. talk about. So I'm just going to literally yep. go through things. We got some Black Series and stuff over there. We got Stranger Things, Rocky figures. Not as he's panning. You're just going to see it all. There's some Power Rangers. Again, I just like to collect stuff and have things on the shelf. You've got all the Pacific Rim robots. There's some Kingdom Hearts stuff, some Kotobukiya statues, a little bit of everything. What are these? Are these cute things? Rock candy. Rock candies, rock candy, okay. Which I like. Yeah, they look pretty cool. Again, just having different things around. Uh, I will say the Kotobukiya statues that are coming up with the Justice League era, those are very good statues. That's Diamond Select Kingdom Hearts stuff. Those statues are really good. I recommend getting Kotobukiya statues. The old NECA Rocky stuff, those SHV yards, Ninja Batman Joker. That's a Ninjoid Guardian from Breath of the Wild, which is fabulous. Ooh, we can do a feature on Mr. Hogan. You think it's Hogan, but oh no, sir. Thunderlips, the <laughs> ultimate male from Rocky. So this is actually a Christmas present from my father. So even Big Dove's father knows. <laughs> Thunderlips. <laughs> oh my God. He's just hanging out back there too. Black series, it's pretty standard. Mainly troopers right here. Crimson troopers, one of my favorites. Then, yeah, I've got kind of a, an army of bad guys for black series. Then we'll just pan up. Because we do have to look up in collection rooms. He has the whole cast of Lost oh. Autograph. Um, I think those are, are these the McFarlane? Uh, no, those are Funko. Funko, that's right, my bad. Funko, yeah, the Funko ones. Around, three and three quarter in like the five inch one. It's pretty cool. Is that an actual set? It's a play set. It's a wall play set. Okay, cool. That Michonne over there in the corner is signed by Robert Kirkman. I believe I got it signed by Kirkman somewhere yeah, in there. Yeah, above The Walking Dead. We got some autographs of some wrestlers. Tito Santana, Bruce Beefcake, Greg <laughs> Hammer Valentine. Got some cool Very Walking smart. Dead. Yeah. These are cool figures. Yeah, they're kind of the G.I. Joe style. You've got other, some of the more rare blacks, well, I guess. No, they're hard to find. I mean, they're hard you to got find. Jabba somewhere and in especially there. these clones, clones, the Order yeah. 66 pack. The Darth Maul down there. Got uh, the Eagle Gamoran Guard. Some good stuff. You've got Eagle Moss. Those are Eagle Moss Walking Dead models. I think, or old statues. I think they call them models. That's a lot of Walking Dead stuff. And you get back into Funko again. Because there's pops everywhere. Saved by the Bell. You got Saved by the Bell. There's freaking Twilight in there, I believe, for some reason. Muppets, Sesame Street, a lot of Stranger Things. A little bit of everything for you. Some more artwork. If you guys remember, oh, I think it was a Cincinnati Comic Con. Um, I got that bar scene with the Marvel figures and then I, for the female Marvels, I got it there on a beach or something. I'm going to go out on a limb, say this is the same artist as this one and that one because it's it literally looks like the same exact concept. That's a coin as well. And we got some Harry Potter. It's like I think most for the Funko first figures. round of Harry Potter pops. Batman the Animated Series. And this is... It's Amelia Clark's autograph. Very Daenerys. cool. I have the Evangeline Lily picture to get her autograph, which I should have got at Dragon Con this year, and I did not. And then we have this. What is this? So that's a print of one of the micro series of Raphael uh, with Eastman's signature. So that is an interesting piece. That is the first piece of this current collection, and the last piece that I have from my original collection 
that was comprised of stuff from when I was a kid, all the way up into college. I had the entire run, entire run, of Playmates, Ninja Turtle figures, every single figure loose and carded, including an AFA 85 scratch, which if you know the Ninja Turtle figures, you know how rare that figure is. Uh, I reached a point in my career where I wanted to pursue a higher level thing. I needed to get a master's degree. I didn't want to have a bunch of master's debt. Sold it all, my entire collection, except for that one piece that was a gift from my older sister. And in this room, we have Walking Dead, right? This is yep. Walking Dead and Game so of these Thrones. These two are Walking Dead and Game of Thrones, which are two of my very favorite properties. So the first two details I'll show you. The one you're on, that is McFarlane five inch TV Walking Dead figures, which I own every single one that has been released except for two or three, I'm sorry. Series one Rick, series one Daryl, and series one black and white Rick, which I think was a Comic-Con. I have every other one, every exclusive, every everything. In the middle is the comic series McFarlane five inch figures. I do have every one of those that has ever been released up until the point of this video including things that came in mega boxes, both versions. Um, you know, those McFarlane five inch figures get a knock, but if you look at them closely, they're incredibly the detailed. The detail's great. Aren't and they it? look amazing together when you have a, a, a large group of them. The top is the regular version of those figures we saw on the wall that were carded, that were bloody. And it's kind of, they made the GI Joe style figure to uh, set up that battle scene of the big villains. Then you've got the McFarlane 10 inch Walking Dead, the McFarlane 7 inch Walking Dead, you've got Voltrons, Transformers, various stuff. This is kind of 80s world. You got Skeletor, you've got the Great Battle of Peter and the Chicken. There's some that. Joe stuff around. Things that are from childhood. Then you go down, these are all Dark Horse Deluxe Game of Thrones statues. I do have every one of those at the point we've filmed this. Uh, Game of Thrones statue figure merchandise is highly limited. HBO doesn't do a lot without license, so proud to have these. It looks like McFarlane's going to start releasing a line of figures for Game of Thrones, like The Walking Dead. I will have. And those are kind of grouped by family, if you're familiar with Game of Thrones. Now, we get into the quarters, pretty much all the quarter scale stuff you have, besides the stuff downstairs, right? Yeah, if it's a Thor or Iron Man, it'll be with theirs. But yeah, these are the neck of quarter scales I have. And then you've got things that have recently been picked up that I don't have room for until I rearrange. So that Savage Land, uh, Marvel Legend, is open and on display as it should be. The Blast R, you know, so there's some pretty rare Marvel Legends hiding in here. These are the new vintage collection. You've got the new AIM 2 pack, the new Magic, new Archangel, new Ultron. A lot of things that are very recently released as this has been filmed. Those are the new die cast and Justice Multiverse figures. And then all the turtles, which are cool. We've got, uh, I like this art. I've got Thanos and then Galactus kind of peering over. There's a dark side in another place in this room. So I kind of have the big, humongo Marvel and DC villains with these big artwork pieces kind of residing over the room. And then down below, that's where I keep my comics. I've got a whole bunch of Walking Dead comics, Walking Dead I've been reading for a very long time. So I've got a bunch, three of those are the Walking Dead. Actually, all four of those bottoms are Walking Dead. Then you get into other stuff, Batman, Flash, whatever I've got sitting in there, banging. Uh, I like to keep them organized like that where they're kind of out of the way and not so obvious and they look a little nicer. Now this is probably what you guys maybe have been waiting for, but we have the Marvel Legends Collection. I'm going to give you guys a uh, very kind of quick uh, pan through of everything, but I just wanted to get that wide shot for you guys. And right. maybe uh, a little more specificity, this is going to be 6-inch Marvel and DC mass release stuff. So things you're going to buy in comic store or Walmart, basically. Many, over a thousand Marvel Legends, but you also have some Marvel Select. You've got DC Multiverse, DC Collectibles, and DC Icons are all hidden away in here and some three and three quarters here and there uh, that's a custom thrown actually off Instagram you're gonna see some pretty good pieces at Sentinel's good actually that frost giant back there is a very rare Marvel Universe piece that I'm proud to have a lot of this I call this the annex to the legends the annex shelf a lot of these are newer pickups these are kind of the 2018 waves you can see yeah. throughout there but then you have like that house of M set the it 
and the uh, Human Torch variant. A lot of these you're gonna get to the bottom are from the Toy Biz stuff that I picked up at Toy Lanta. If you saw my Toy Lanta video, I had a tremendous haul from that conference. You got Big Daddy back here all the way in the bottom. Old thicken. <laughs> He's yeah, a cool that's, bath. That's a pit, that's an image. Yeah, he is awesome. Build a figure. Very cool. That's when Toy Biz lost the Marvel Legends. They started doing uh, other comic lines and I think Pitt and Monkey Man are the only two that they ever did. That was kind of Toy Biz's last gasp. You get down there, you've got Batman the Animated Series from DC Collectibles. I have a lot of those. I don't have all. I have close to all. Uh, that Batmobile's a great, great, great piece. Then you've got some DC Collectibles. I have every multiverse that's been made, which, you know, say what you want. That's the only way to get certain characters, and multiverse does a lot of things good, and they do some not so good. And so that's that's all down there is multiverse and DC collectibles. When you go up, you have the entire collection of DC icons, uh, like the, the the Doomsday is up in a different place, but I have them all. You have all the DC collectibles Arrowverse figures back behind there, and now we're going to be exclusively Marvel Legends. As you're looking through this, I've got Builder figures and big figures in the back. Some of those might be select back there, and. In some cases, there's a rhyme or reason. In other cases, it's just, I want a cool shelf that looks crazy and has all kind of stuff going on. So I know you're going to say, oh, why don't you have all your Captain America together? Well, because sometimes I want them separate from each other. And sometimes they are together. So it's just to make it look different, to make it look unique. We're getting into, I would say, kind of rarer figures. For instance, we got this Spider-Hawk. It's the older uh, legend. And if you can see right here, I'm not going to pick her up because I'm not toppling everything. Build a figure Jubilee. We all know that's a very, very hard piece um, to acquire. And I'm trying to look through the camera and here because I still haven't seen all these figures yet. Lots so, of build a figures. I have every Hasbro build a figure except for Blob, and I need Blob's hand. <laughs> Um, there hands. are still some toy biz build figures I'm missing. I, I think I'm missing like five total build figures. So what I want you guys to do is as we're going through these shelves, if you see a figure that you like or whatever your favorite is, let me know down in the comments below. Mohawk Storm there is a pretty desired yeah. one. There we go. Strife in the back. Obviously the whole Jubilee wave because he did yeah. open it to complete the build a figure. Oh, that's that's X Force Deadpool. That's an, that's an open X-Force Deadpool. Uh, not, that's a Hascon X-Force Deadpool. That's the other Deadpool's over here somewhere, the recent one. Cause yep, I'm an open box collector, so it gets open. That's what happens. There's, I don't know if, remember what uh, her name is, but that A4 from set the A4 set last yeah. year. Now I'm going to throw the camera up very high and hopefully get some shots of the top shelf. You've got all the 12 inch multiverse, all the 12 inch Marvel Legends. There's a couple statues up there. The rides, motorcycles, a Galactus build a figure back there, Apoc the first Apocalypse and the first Giant Man. Uh, that's the original Marvel Universe Sentinel, not the uh, recent one that came from Amazon. The Toy Biz Surfer and the regular Surfer, Hit Monkey. There's some rare things around. There's the dupe. Uh, that Deadpool's somewhere in here. That's the Toy Biz dupe. Uh, I think the Hit Monkey, that build figure right there, is actually the most recent build figure I've completed. That one is actually not easy to complete, even though it only takes three figures. What's that, Howard the Duck? Howard the Duck, yeah, that comes with that surfer, actually, that Toy Biz surfer, I believe. You also have the multiverse build figures up here Steppenwolf and Doomsday, the King Shark, which is an excellent, excellent, excellent build figure, and the Clayface, which is an excellent build figure. Multiverse has started doing their build figures really nice. So that's it for the figure rooms. There's probably more figures and stuff, but I want to show you guys the comics. Um, the way that he has these displayed, it, honestly, it's awesome. So I want you guys to see. Um, once again, I just want to reiterate, just in case anybody skimmed through the video, I am just going to do overviews. I'm not going to get real in depth with every single thing because my thought on things is if you know what you're looking at, then you probably collect it already. I mean, obviously the Infinity Gauntlet, that blew up once Infinity War kind of came to fruition officially. Got Guardians of the Galaxy. And then, just if you want to, yeah, give me a couple yeah. things. So give here, me some cool you got stuff. Origin and First Appearance of She-Hulk. It's a cool one. 
This is the first appearance of Scott Lang, our the Ant Man we know. Mm -hmm. So uh, Rudd, Ant Man. That's the first time Scott Lang versus Hank Pym, Ant Man. First full appearance of War Machine. That's an Iron Man book. You see, it's got War Machine on it. Spray painted on it or something. A, a lot of this is kind of the new Avengers. So you've got when Jane became Thor the first time. You've got the first Miles Morales Spider Man. You've got the first Danvers Captain Marvel. You've got the first Sam Wilson when Falcon became Captain America. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. So it's just kind of like obviously I can't afford the first Captain America, but right. I can afford things like that. But uh, so like this is an old Avengers book. This is from the '60s, but it has Hawkeye and Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. The first time they join the Avengers, so I thought it was a cool book to have as they are all in the MCU Avengers. Absolutely. So that's a lot of these are chosen for that reason. This one, The Marriage of Wasp and Yellow Jacket. So I tried to get unique key books that are older that are in the affordable range. Uh, this is, uh, I think this is the first time, yeah, that's the first time that it's called Doctor Strange, even though it's 169. I don't remember, I can't remember what the title was before that. So in the living room, and Karina covered up with Olaf, we have more comics. So, let's start here real quick. The man's signature. Mr. Stan Lee. Yeah, oh I boy. Silver Surface. 50 maybe? Yeah, 50. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, that may be at the first... Uh, this is the first time that Iron Fist and Luke Cage team up, which is what a lot of what they're known for. That's Punisher number one in a... Uh, Punisher's in other books before this, but that's in his that's Forger series. That's a good Daredevil one, right? That's you the first Frank Miller that. Daredevil. That's the first appearance of Jessica Jones. You get into my, uh, kind of my prize Walking Dead stuff. You've got... Likely my most valuable comic, Walking Dead 19, the first appearance of Michonne. Only getting greater by the minute. <laughs> yeah. First appearance of the governor. There is some significant things I don't necessarily want to talk about on a family, but there big events happened in some of these comics that no, Walking Dead true. fans know. Yeah. First appearance of Ezekiel. Walking Dead 100. First appearance of Negan, Death of Glenn. Big one. Um, 50, 25. You know, I kind of have some of the big releases there. Walking Dead is my main comic fandom, so I've got a lot of good issues from that. Uh, those are all Scotty Young variants. Scotty Young's an artist I really like. Uh, when you see the things that are kind of kitty, chibi, whatever, it's Scotty Young. All of those are signed by him. They're all great authenticated signatures. Um, and there's not, like, none of those books are that old. I mean, Deadpool Secret Secret Wars is not, like, the greatest value book. I just think it's a cool cover with his signature. I like that stuff. Then these are some uh, comic covers that my friends got me. The Walking Deadpool, I'm a big Winnie the Pooh guy, as you're gonna see from some of this original art. That's a commission piece where uh, Pooh has been trying to tell him to bring him honey and they didn't bring him honey, so he's turning them into honey. Pooh knows. And as you can see above, he tried first a store telling him to bring me honey. So that's why he had to evolve into Pooh knows. That's original art. That's an original art piece uh, with a dragon over the city of Atlanta. That's cool. I like to commission artwork. Uh, now you get another, that's a hard to find Walking Dead variant that I have graded. You're gonna get into some 80s riffic stuff with like G.I. Joe 1, Voltron 1, Transformers 1, Masters of the Universe, Doctor Who number one, a Game of Thrones book. Uh, I believe this is the first appearance of Sabretooth in the Wolverine comic. Uncanny X-Men. We got the Days of Future Past. First appearance of Gambit. I'm trying to get the glare off. Right? First, appearance first of full Gambit? appearance of Gambit. Full he had a appearance. cameo, but that's his first full appearance. And then this. That's when Phoenix joins the X-Men for the first time. Yeah. These all look great, in my opinion. And right there you've got just some unique ones. Uh, I don't even, that's just a random Walking Dead one that I like to cover and got graded. But this, that's when uh, Jason Todd Robin is killed by Joker. Then you've got Bane breaking Batman, technically the death of Batman, so to speak. And then the death of Superman. Those are cool to own. They're not rare because of how much DC published those. And like that death of Superman, there's 7,000 variants. But in my opinion, if you're going to be a slab comic collector, you got to have the death of Batman and the death of Superman. That is going to do it for the video. I decided to end the video where we started. Um, real quick, if you guys watch till this part in the video, what I want you to do 
is comment your favorite part about this video, whether it was the, the Funko Pops, the Hot Toys, the Legends, the Black Series, anything you saw in this video, put it right here in the comments below. Let me know, that way I know you watched till this point in the video. Also, make sure to subscribe to Big Dub. His link will be down in the description below along with his Instagram. Uh, Brian, I know you're probably watching this, but thank you for letting me uh, show your collection off on my channel. Um, once again, I'm going to reiterate this. None of this is mine. This is all Brian's, and I just wanted to showcase it on my channel because this is the first time that I've seen it in person. And it's amazing. I mean, when you have a collection this size, you want to show it off. No matter who you are, you want people to see it. I mean, that's I don't know, kind of the main reason why you want to have a collection like this is you want other people to enjoy it as well. But I'm going to cut it off here. We're about to go eat some food and live stream and do all this. Um, but if you guys did enjoy the video, please leave a like. Share this video. I normally don't ask people to do that. But if you would, please share this video with anyone who you would think, <clears throat> wow. That would enjoy this video. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to Big Dub. Once again, I love you guys so much. I will see you in the next video. This is a great room to do this in. And as always, may the figs be with you.